cemetery right now in spots, but it is possible to tell some happy stories of some of the, the forefathers and mothers of Israel back in the early days, over 500 years ago, namely someone very important, a woman, a woman in history, Dona Gracia Nasi, and joining us now is Dr. Svika Schreik who is the curator of the Doña Gracia Museum. Enjoy. So explain um, the, the meaning of what Doña Gracia was able to accomplish. I mean, we know she was a banker. She, she was a secret Jew who returned to Judaism after a long, many-year journey through Europe when they didn't have airplanes and trains and cars. Why was this such a, a, a huge accomplishment for a human being, let alone a woman in particular? First of all, because she is a coming from the family of Anusim. This is a Hebrew word, meant to force somebody to, have, to be in another um, church or another tradition or another uh, Jews, Catholic and Muslim. She, the family was forced, like all the others, in Spain and Portugal. She was born in Portugal, of course. And she is Bat Anusim, mean daughter of family of Anusim. Which people know in the States as conversos, another word from conversos. Her husband, her husband, which called in Hebrew ben benishte, like ben venida, mm -hmm. mean bruchim abayim. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome. He was one of the richest men in the world. When he died, when he died, he said to Dona Gracia, his wife, listen, be close to a palace in Portugal, near the king of, of Portugal, and have a fun all your... But she had another plan. She remembered where and when, where she belonged to. And she decided to do something for the Jewish nation. And from that moment, she did everything, like a Christian woman, to help those people who are Christian, and some of them are remaining Jews, to live in another way. So this woman, by herself, you know, went, took all of these people to, to Europe, to Italy. I know she sponsored female writers. She, uh, you know, sponsored the Ferrara Bible, translating it in, into Spanish, ultimately getting, getting to Turkey. Explain why, um, you know, her journey in Turkey um, is so important to the, the Jews of Turkey today because most of them descend from families that actually came with her, correct? Right, right. To establish the wealth of her family, not by the money, just the money of her husband, she had to do something else. To raise up the bank which her husband and, and his, uh, um, brother. And his uh, brother yeah, Diego, raised in Antwerpen. And he say, she said to uh, Diego, listen, you are going to marry my sister and the bank is going on by, by my name. So when she had the bank, which came to be the second biggest bank in the world, wow. not Jewish, but bank, general bank, she established the wealth of the family. Now, when Carl V, wanted her money, he sent a letter to his sister Maria, which was the prince of Austria and also Belgium, and said, listen, tell Dona Gracia that I have a husband for her. But Dona Gracia was so strong, he said, listen, I know what he, his aim is. Let send a letter and say that I don't want. I am so busy. Explain um, the importance. We know that the Tiberius Project, here was a woman that was seemingly planning an aliyah. Yeah. You know, she got, you know, her, her stepson got as far as Tiberius, correct? So it's not believed, even though she bought land here from the Ottoman Empire, was she buying land? She didn't buy. She didn't buy. No. But wasn't she trying to buy? Okay, so let me she start. She suggested, over. okay. Okay, so she didn't actually buy land, but was she negotiating with the Ottoman Empire to purchase land here in Tiberias? No, not negotiated. So what happened? Just, uh, what happened is, after some years of being with Suleiman the Greatest, the Sultan, she established what the economic of all the empire of, of the Ottoman. And then, one day, 
He asked the Sultan to visit him. No woman, just the mother of the Sultan and other women. His harem. <laughs> yeah, his harem. Yeah. And he said, okay, welcome. What do you want? He said, I want from you a little thing. To get a place for the Jews of all the world in Israel. He said, what is the problem? I'll give you... But first of all, he offered Romania and a part of Austria. And she said, no, this is not suitable to my, to my nation. And then he said, he was afraid that he is going to, she, he is going to ask about Jerusalem. He said, no, no, don't be afraid. I don't want Jerusalem. I want one place which in the Talmud, it's called the Messiah is coming to the nation of Israel. And the name and the place is Tiberius. Why not Safat? Why? Why? She knew about the history of the Holy Land. The first one is Jerusalem. After that, mean the priority, Jerusalem, Tiberius, Hebron, and Safat, the holy towns in Israel. So why not Safat? Because of what written in the Talmud. Wow, it's amazing. Just now. But somebody was asking to be in Safat. Who was that? Ah, this is a secret. This one. Carl. Carl. What is the relation between Carl, Yosef Carl, the, the one read Shulchan Aruch, and Dona Gracia? Someday they came in Istanbul and said, we want our money from our father, Ben Benishti. Don, Ben Benishti, Don, Ben Benishti, Francisco Mendez. And Dona Gracia didn't know what to do. So she write a question. To whom? Carl. Do I, am I correct to think that the money is mine and I have to give what I want to my children and husband? Or there is something in the law that says that I have to divide it as the law. There is a question which is still today. Does a woman have to follow the law of din, Dina de Malchuta Dina Amin, the law of Portugal? Or the law of the Jewish in the place that she's. Wow. Man, Do, so Yosef Caro yeah. was the one who said no. Who said no. Wow. But Mitterani and the other four others, Rabbanim Gdolim, said she's right. This is the connection because between Rabbi Yosef Caro and Dona Gracia was a very, very strong connection. Because of that, when I searched the tomb of Dona Grazia in Istanbul, and I didn't find it, and I didn't find any document, I start to believe when she failed to build Tiberias by people, Jewish people were not coming to Israel, like now. going to United States from Russia and so on. Right. I begin to think that something happened and Rabbi Yosef Karo asked her daughter, Reina, after what happened to Don Yosef Nasi, to bury the grave, to pass it from Istanbul to one place. Tiberia was not raised up. Mm -hmm. So where is the place? Safat. Doctor, thank you so much for this uh, very insightful conversation. And uh, thank you for, for really bringing alive the story of Donia Gracia Nasi. I really appreciate it. And I thank it. you that you are going to spread the story of Dona Gracia all over the world. From your lips to God's ears. Thank you. And we'll thank be you very right much. back after the break. <laughs>